Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Kembali lagi di channel youtube Aizani Daroin Kali ini saya akan berikan contoh soal penilaian akhir semester materi bahasa inggris Kelas 10 semester 1 tahun 2023 The following text is for question number 1 until 3 Raja Ampat of Four Kings is the name given to group of island in West Papua Derived from local myth, the four major islands are Waigo, Misol, which is home to ancient rock painting, Salawati and Batania. Raja Ampat is located at the bird head of Papua, underwater enthusiasts. On Raja Ampat Island, divers can explore vertical underwater walls. The thrill of drift diving is another great challenge. The territory within the islands of the Four Kings is enormous, covering 9-8 million acres of land and sea, home to 540 types of corals, more than 1,000 types of coral fish, and 700 types of mollusks. This makes it the most diverse living library for woods, coral reefs, and underwater biota. According to a report developed by the Nature Conservation, around 75% of the world's species live here. When divers first arrive here, their excitement is palpable. It's common to hear people praise God as they absorb in the remarkable scenery. Others prefer to remain in silence, taking in the overwhelming sight of so many islands with crystal clear water that softly brush over the white sandy beach. Soal nomor 1. What is the topic of the text? A. The size of the islands of Raja Ampat. B. The scenery on the islands of Raja Ampat. C. The natural habitat of Raja Ampat. D. The flora and fauna of Raja Ampat. E, the Underwater Beauty of Raja Ampat Jawabannya adalah E, The Underwater Beauty of Raja Ampat Soal nomor 2 Why do so many divers come to Raja Ampat? A, it is home to ancient rock paintings B, it offers the world best marine site C, divers can explore horizontal underwater walls D, it has the most diverse museum for world's coral reefs underwater biota a. There are a few islands with crystal clear softly brush over the white sandy beach. Jawabannya adalah B. It offers the world's best marine site. Soal nomor 3. It common to hear people praise God as they absorb. Last paragraph. The underlined word is similar to A. Ordinary. B. Rigid. C. Complete. D. Fortunate. A. Instance. Jawabannya adalah A. Ordinary. Soal nomor 4. What is the purpose of the text? A. To give information to the reader. B. To amuse the reader. C. To describe something. D. To influence the reader. A. To persuade the reader. Jawabannya adalah C. To describe something. The following text is for question number 5 until 8. Istikoma is the oldest in my family. We call her Isti. She is 25 years old and 5 years older than me. She has long straight hair, bright eyes, and friendly smile. Sometimes she is rather talkative at home, but she always helps if someone needs. Stikoma is crazy about cooking. She can cook a delicious traditional food. She is the best chef in our family. Soal nomor 5, what is the text mostly about? A. Istikomas hobby B. Istikomas family C. Istikoma D. Istikomas favorite hobby E. Istikomas older sister Jawabannya adalah C. Istikoma Soal nomor 6, from the text we know that Istikoma is A. The writer's older sister B. The writer's elder sister C. The writer's friend D. The writer's teacher E. The writer's student Ini adalah A. The writer's older sister Soal nomor 7 Based on the text, we know that the writer is blah 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 years old 
A25, B30, C20, D40, E35. Jawabannya adalah C20. Soal nomor 8, Istiqoma is crazy about cooking. She can cook delicious traditional food. The underlined phrase can be replaced with A dislike cooking, B really likes cooking, C hates cooking much, D finds cooking not really entertaining, E joins cooking. Adalah B really likes cooking. The following text is for question number 9 until 12. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall or Tang Cheng in China is massive. It begins in the east at the Yellow Sea, travel near China's capital, Beijing, and continues to west through numerous provinces. It winds like snakes through China's very terrain for thousands of miles. Smaller walls extend from the main wall. According to conservative estimates, the Great Wall's length is approximately 2,400 miles. Its thickness ranges from 15 until 30 feet wide and it reaches in height to about 25 feet. The Great Wall has been considered as one of the worst wonders. The Great Wall is un they believe one of humankind's most prominent and enduring architectural feats. It is testament to people's ability to plan, organize, create, and work diligently together. The wall is a monument to the Chinese civilization, one that came at great cost and through countless sacrifice. Soal nomor 9. Where is the Great Wall located? A. China B. Hong Kong C. Taiwan, D. Macau, E. Mongolia Jawabannya adalah A. China Soal nomor 10 How thick is the Great Wall? A. 15 until 25 feet wide B. 10 until 25 feet wide C. 15 until 30 feet wide D. 15 until 35 feet wide E. 15 until 20 feet wide Jawabannya adalah C, 15 until 30 feet wide. Soal nomor 11, where does the Great Wall begin? A, in the south at the Yellow Sea, B, in the north at the Red Sea, C, in the southeast at the Yellow Sea, D, in the northwest at the Yellow Sea, E, in the east at the Yellow Sea. Jawabannya adalah E, in the east at the Yellow Sea. Soal nomor 12, it begins in the east at the Yellow Sea, travels near China's capital, Beijing, and continues to west through numerous provinces. First paragraph, the underlined word refers to A. The China civilization, B. Countless sacrifice, C. The Great Wall, D. The humankind, A. Architectural. Jawabannya adalah C. The Great Wall. For question number 13 until 15, complete the following text with the word provided. The group in the mountain region southwest and the central Sulawesi slopes are known as Toraja, which means those who live upstream or those who live on the mountain. Their name is in fact derived from the word Raja, which in Sanskrit means king. The society is hierarchically structured. The noblemen are called range. The ordinary people Malaka and the self kaunan birth TTTT which status a person will hold. The distinctive feature of traditional houses Tongkonan of the Toraja are buffalo horns, the design and the rich decoration on the walls. The buffalo is a blah 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 of status, courage, strength, and fighting spirit. Soal nomor 13. A. Modern, B. Ethnic, C. Relatif, D. Interest, E. Radical. Jawabannya adalah B. Ethnic. Soal nomor 14. A. Chooses, B. Needs, C. Calls, D. Describes, E. Determines. Jawabannya adalah E. Determines. Soal nomor 15, A symbol, B feature, C structure, D name, A design. Jawabannya adalah A symbol. The following text is for question number 
16 until 18. Attention student, this Friday, 25 January 2019 is the registration deadline for spring semester. Complete your registration form in the first floor between the hours of 8.30 and 6.30 o'clock. Payment must be made at the time of registration. So bring your administration receipt or you will be accepted. No late accepted. No late exceptions. Class begin Monday, 28 January 2019. Class over in the following subject. Art, History, Language, Economics Soal nomor 16 The subject which is not offered for the registration is A. Economics B. Language C. Sport D. Arts A. History Jawabannya adalah C. Sport Soal nomor 17 Besides filling in the registration form, the student have to A. Bring the registration form B. Accept the administration receipt C. Complete the registration payment D. Over the spring semester subjects A. Make an exception from to the administration Jawabannya adalah C. Complete the registration payment Soal nomor 18 The announcement is released by A. Department Store B. School C. Market D. Zoo A. Mosque Jawabannya adalah B. A school The following text is for question number 19 until 20. Vacancy, National Sales Manager, male, age, maximum 30 years old, has one degree in any field, having good communication skills, having good self-management, energetic, and having positive attitude, having a motorcycle or car is a benefit. Please send your curriculum vitae and recent photograph to PT Anugrah Bahagia, Jalan Jembatan, Number 19, North Jakarta. Not later than December 22nd, 2019. Soal nomor 19. Which of the following statement is true according to the text? A. Kandidat must have motorcycle or car. B. PT Anugrah Bahagia needs a sales manager for its brand's office. C. Only as one degree minor in engineering, candidates are allowed to propose the job. D. PT Anugrah Bahagia must receive application letter not later than December 22, 2019. A. Kandidat must send their applicants through emails or directly some to PT Anugrah Bahagia. Jawabannya adalah D. PT Anugrah Bahagia must receive application letter not later than December 22, 2019. Soal nomor 20. Having a motorcycle or car is benefit. The underlying word means A. Weakness B. Request C. Prosperity D. Advantage A. Disadvantage Jawabannya adalah D. Advantage The following text is for question number 21 until 24. The celebrate the anniversary of Man Satu Bandar Lampung. The student school organization will hold a basketball competition. The competition will be held date 24 until 26 September. Time 9 o'clock until 3 o'clock venue Man Satu Bandar Lampung Basketball Country. The school teams which will participate in this competition should pay the enrollment fee 100,000 For further information, contact nanda at gmail.com Soal nomor 21, what is the text about? A. Basketball competition B. Basketball participation C. The rules of a basketball competition D. The schedule of a basketball competition A. The preparation for basketball competition Jawabannya adalah A. A basketball competition Soal nomor 22 How long will the basketball competition last for? A. 5 days B. 6 days C. 3 days D. 4 days A. 7 days Jawabannya adalah C. 3 days Soal nomor 23, how much rupiah should they pay for the registration? A. 100,000 B. 200,000 C. 300,000 D. 400,000 A. 500,000 Jawabannya adalah A. 100,000 
soal nomor 24 Whom is the text addressed to? A. The student of Mansa to Bandar Lampung B. All school basketball teams C. All basketball participants D. The teacher of Mansa to Bandar Lampung E. All students of Man Jawabannya adalah B. All school basketball teams Soal nomor 25, Dere, what a cozy house. I feel comfortable here. Fauzia, thank you. What does the boy express? A. Imaging. B. Agreeing. C. Criticizing. D. Congratulating. E. Complimenting. Jawabannya adalah E. Complimenting. Soal nomor 26, Iqbal, yesterday I saw you wearing beautiful gown in the wedding party. You so gorgeous. Thank you, I designed by myself. I see, I wish you luck. Why does the boy praise the girl as she wears a beautiful gown? B. She has beautiful party. C. She performs a gorgeous performance. D. She has practiced designing a gown. E. She has sold a wedding party gown. Ini adalah A. She wears a beautiful gown. Soal nomor 27. The boy, where are you going to go tomorrow? The old lady, yet. Yeah. Because I might go to Jakarta. A. I don't doubt. B. I'm ready. C. I'm happy. D. I'm not sure. A. I don't believe. Jawabannya adalah D. I'm not sure. Soal nomor 28. Marta diet on Friday night. I want to see a new film at Kartini Perjuangan. Oh yeah, I saw it last week. It was great. Oh, what did you do? B. What have you done? C. What could you do? D. What are you doing? A. What are you going to do? Jawabannya adalah E. What are you going to do? Soal nomor 29. Sophie, what do we have for dinner, mom? Mother, I don't cook. Will we have dinner in a restaurant, mom? Yes, dear father and mother are going to celebrate our anniversary. Congratulations, mom. Why does the child congratulate her parents? A. She has a special occasion. B. She celebrates her anniversary. C. She celebrates her parents' anniversary. D. She has to attend a birthday party. E. She has to cook food together. Jawabannya adalah C. She celebrates her parents' anniversary. Soal nomor 30. Teacher, excuse me, my student. I'm Tati. I'm a new English teacher in this class. Nice to meet you all, my student. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Tati. What is the topics of the conversation? A. Expressing gratitude by introducing oneself. C. Having a new class, they welcoming a new teacher, A. Asking permission. Jawabannya adalah B. Introducing oneself. Soal nomor 31. Sir, I will be late for work tomorrow. I have to attend the school meeting in my son's school for a few minutes. Alright, anyway, what are you doing there? I will get some suggestion for my son's achievement progress. What is the best response for the woman? A. I know you come late. B. You should go there on time. C. Your son is really smart and lucky boy. D. Let him go alone. A. I hope you feel better. Jawabannya adalah B. You should go there on time. Soal nomor 32. I heard you won the speech contest. Well, congratulations, my friend. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for saying so. I wish you success in the next year's contest. I hope so. I have to work very hard for it. Based on the dialogue above, which of the following sentence express compliment? A. I wish you success in the next year. B. That is fantastic. C. Thank you very much for saying so. D. I heard you won the speech contest. A. I have to work hard for it. Jawabannya adalah B. That is fantastic. Soal nomor 33, we are going to have a long holiday, what are you going to do? I'm going to have a cooking class, I'm going to make delicious cakes, what about you? I'm going to go to my hometown in Liwa. That sounds interesting, enjoy your a long holiday, what is the conversation about? A. Cooking class, B. Going to my hometown, C. Planning for a long holiday, D. Attending a cooking class, A. Family gathering. Jawabannya adalah C. Planning for a long holiday. Soal nomor 34, Desi. Hey, I heard that you bought a new apartment. Did you? That's right, auntie. As your auntie, I'm very proud of you. You deserve it because you have worked hard. 
Thank you so much, Auntie. The underlined sentence shows the expression of A compliment, B obligation, C gratitude, D congratulation, E condolence. Jawabannya adalah A compliment. Soal nomor 35, Yana. Puji, I don't have money to pay the school fee. Do you want to borrow my money? Blah, blah, blah. If you need some. A, would you accompany me? B, I'm going to go to the nearest ATM. C, I would like to accompany you. D, I'll lend you. A, I save my money. Jawabannya adalah B, I'm going to go to the nearest ATM. Soal nomor 36, Indra. I won the first prize of memorizing Al-Quran competition yesterday. Oh really, that's great. Please accept my warmest congratulations. You're welcome. A, you are very jealous. B, I hope you say so. C, oh, don't mention it. D, thanks for saying that. A, that's very great. Jawabannya adalah D. Thanks for saying that. Soal nomor 37. I'm going to have dinner tonight. Would you like to join? Thank you. I would like to, but I have another appointment. From the dialogue above, we conclude that A. Yusran declines the invitation. B. Lia wants to have dinner. C. Lia loves Yusran. D. Yusran invites Lia to have dinner together. A. Lia doesn't want to go. Jawabannya adalah A. Yusran declines to the invitation. Soal nomor 38, Winda, my brother, he is from Los Angeles, his name is Wahyu, how do you do Wahyu, how do you do Winda? A, I would like to visit you, B, I would like to meet you, C, nice to meet him, D, I would like to introduce, A, I would like to take. Jawabannya adalah D, I would like to introduce. Soal nomor 39, Didi, what do you plan to do after class? Nothing. What about you? I blah 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 the bookstore. Can you join me? Sure, thank you. A go. B will have gun. C I'm going to go there when I have gun. Jawabannya adalah C. I'm going to go. Soal nomor 40. Hello, would you like to come to my house tonight? We will have barbecue party in my garden. Yes, sure. I would love to, but I don't think so. C, would you like to come? D, I have a lot of works to do. A, would you like to have to barbecue party? Jawabannya adalah A, I would love to. Terima kasih sudah menonton. Jangan lupa klik tombol like dan subscribe ya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.